say click on him, you can change his name, stats, his AI inventory, um, things like that. I just I deleted his dialogue because um, it didn't really apply to a multi, to a public server, um, like setting the game mode and things like that. So I just deleted his 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 NPC. Whoa, what's this? Oh, hi, that's me. That's my NPC version of me. Yeah. So I just a custom one for that. Now the other thing you want to use the wand for is you have issues where you have an NPC that won't respawn. You know he should be, but he's not. Um, one of the things you can do if he totally disappears is you could golden lasso him, uh, which we've uh, you know and have and set some backups of him. But because when you double you golden lasso him, he'll die per se. But um, yeah. So what I'm going to do here is let's say Carnal wasn't here, but we want him to be here. Um, and in fact, oh, here's another thing you can do with this. This is really useful. If you right click just in the middle air with nothing, uh, if I can get this, right click with nothing, there we go. It lists all the nearby NPCs. So I'd say like Lawrence Carnell, the girl, child. I was looking for. Okay, so say like this this example right here. See this troll? He's dead. He's not around. You got a million players that are trying to kill him at the same time. You right click with the wand, and it's going to say Tyrion's right here. Now we need him to reset. So what you do is you click on him. You say reset, and bam, there he is. He's back. And that's a good, really useful thing to know. Um, you know what we, you know.